Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new Wi-Fi-enabled Kindle from Amazon.com. And in this episode specifically, we're going to take a closer look at the home screen. So your home screen displays all of the titles that exist on your Kindle. You may have more than one page of this, so we can actually go between the different pages using the page forward and page back buttons. So page forward will take you to the next, page back will actually take you to the previous page. You'll notice each title also has a number of dots under. This indicates the relative length of the book. So Spook Country is actually a fairly short book. War for Late Night is a little bit more medium, whereas these Neil Stevenson ones are quite long. You notice each of them also has a number of bold dots in the title, and that indicates how much you've read of the book. So for the War for Late Night, I've read almost all of it, except for the pages at the end where it has the credits and the information. Spook Country, I haven't read as much of. More of it is uh, unbolded at this point. You also notice at the top of the display, we have a list of a bit of information here. So we have the name of the Kindle in question. So if you have more than one Kindle, you can manage them accordingly. If you have uh, Wi-Fi connectivity, it'll be displayed up here, including the relative strength of your signal. We have a battery icon over here that shows you how much charge you have left in it. So it'll indicate how long you have until you have to plug it in again. We have a list here of how many items are on the Kindle and how it's sorted. If you want to change how it's sorted, you can actually scroll up to that item and then head over to the right and it'll show you various options for sorting this. So we want to sort by most recent first so the last thing that we used will appear at the top now instead of somewhere down below. Now to select a title from your list you'll use the button at the bottom, the navigation panel, to scroll down to the one that you want to read and then when you found one that you want to actually read you'll press the button in the middle to select it and it'll actually take you into the book. Now it'll drop you into a place in the book where you last were, typically speaking. You don't have to uh, scroll back through all of the pages to find where you were in the book. So you can set other bookmarks as well to mark other locations. We'll show you how to do that in an upcoming episode of this. Now if we want to search for something at any point on here, we'll actually just start typing on the keyboard. So we'll type Doom. And what this will do is it'll search for Doom throughout the text of all these books. Now to select that item, we'll actually click on the navigation panel and move over to the items to search my items and that's how you use pretty much any menu system like this where you're searching and then we'll highlight it and then click through using the select button. That'll bring up a list of all the titles where the word doom appears inside the text. So we'll notice that up at the top we've got the system of the world, the word doom appears in here 17 times. We can also go up to the top of four and sort, sort by relevance as it is right now or we can check by title or author and it'll sort alphabetically by title if we choose titles. Now black order with the first in the alphabet will appear at the top. And again at any point to cancel out of this we'll hit home and it'll take us back to our home screen. Anyways that's a look at the Wi-Fi enabled Amazon Kindle. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways to use the Kindle and don't forget to check out the show notes for this and all the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.